A cron job is a job or is a task scheduled to run automatically at specified times or dates defined using a specific syntax. In this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule your emails so that they can be sent or they can run at specific times without the intervention of a human user. Hello everybody, welcome to Coding 101. My name is Kutlo. If you're interested in improving your web dev coding skills, this is the right channel to subscribe to. So subscribe to my channel for more web development content if you've enjoyed. Like this video and leave a comment in the comment section. Now there are many reasons why you might want to schedule an email to be sent at a specific time. Now one reason I can think of is let's say you've built a subscription based e-commerce website and so you want to send a customer message. By the way I get like some of these. I still haven't paid my Zoom subscription so now Zoom is sending me emails every single week I think. Uh, so they're sending me emails every single week reminding me that I haven't paid my Zoom subscription. So th those types of emails are emails that are sent through uh, a cron job because nobody's gonna actually sit there and actually send emails uh, for like a million people who probably owe Zoom by now. Please do not tell them that I owe them. So yeah, so nobody's sitting at the computer having to send these emails over and over again. So they've set up a job and they've set up a task that is going to be executed once uh, it's a specific time. So another reason that we can think of it's, let's say for example, a network is delayed uh, or something happens to your code, it breaks. We, we, you need to schedule a task that is going to log that error, it's going to send you a message that, hey, you know what, that website that you created, it just crashed. So um, you might wanna do something about that or maybe there's a network delay or something went wrong. So you could set up a, a cron job to just like keep tracking your status or keep tracking your server status rather and if there's something wrong then it just tells you um, what uh, has happened so that's another uh, way to implement uh, a cron job in this instant so of course in order to uh, create these repetitive tasks like I've been saying we're gonna have to use what we call a cron job so cron is actually a tool that allows you to execute something on a schedule it's typically done using uh, the cron syntax. So it allows you to execute a function whenever your scheduled job uh, triggers. So the syntax is used to uh, specify a cron job. So the syntax um, is as follows. And if you want to um, learn more about the cron syntax, you can just go to crontab.guru. And so this is where a cron syntax is actually created. So this is the time, this is the schedule that we're going to give to our cron job and uh, it's going to know that at this specific time this should be implemented. So what we have in front of our screen is the time 5 past 4. So there's going to be, if we were to implement this directly in our code, then what would happen is that each and every single day at 5 past 4 uh, a certain task would be executed. But as you can see, this is sort of like uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it has like five parameters. We can specify the day that this cron job should actually run. So we can say maybe the 12th. So what's gonna happen is that every month, every 12th of every month, uh, the 12th day of every month, let me say, at five past four, uh, a function is going to be executed. So the cron job is going to check each and every day that, oh, is it five past four? Is it the 12th of that uh, particular month? And that's when it's gonna know when to execute, whether to execute or not to execute a particular task. We can also specify the month and we can just say, just do it in February, okay? So each and every single year on the 12th of February, um, and yeah, on the 12th of February at five past four, make sure you execute certain tasks. So this is how you can implement it. Uh, so this is how you can create uh, the cron syntax in order to so that it can align with your um, with your cron job. Okay, so and so these are like these are fields that we're going to combine in order to form that syntax, uh, and it's going to specify uh, when and how often actually uh, a particular command or a script should run. The commands and schedules are defined uh, as follows. 
so now that we know the the commands or the, the, the so now that we know the cron syntax we can just like go directly and implement cron so we're using that code that we first used in order to send emails. So um, if I'll leave a video or a link on the cards so that you can just like check it out. So in order for you to get started using like cron jobs, first you need to go to npm and you need to install node cron. So node cron is the number one go to uh, package, uh, uh, node.js package that is used in order to uh, run these uh, cron jobs. So that's exactly what we're first going to do. We're just going to first of all get rid of cancel that. And then we're just going to say npm install node cron. And then after we're done, we are going to um, import the library into our node.js script as follows. And then what we, oh, sorry. And then what we want to do now is that we want to define a task. So you can define a task by just simply using a function. So there is our task. So our task, all it has to simply do is to console log running a task every single minute because we're going to schedule it to run every single minute. So that is what our task is. So now that we've uh, created our task, this is all our task does, by the way. We're going to schedule the task to run at specific intervals using the schedule uh, method. So we're just going to say cron.schedule like that. And inside of here, we're going to put in the cron expression in a minute. And then we're going, the second argument is going to be the task like that. Yeah. Now, if we want the cron job to run every single minute, we can just go to crontab.guru and what we can do is that we can just like get rid of everything in here. And oh, sorry about that. Let me just do it properly. Yeah, we can just like replace everything with an asterisk like that. And this is going to run our task every single minute. We copy that, put it inside of our code like that. And so what's going to happen is that this console log is going to run every single minute minute. So now we're just going, we're going to start our project again. Just going to say node mod app.js. So I'm going to wait for a minute. I'm going to pause and wait for um, about, I think, two minutes or three minutes to uh, come through and wait for the console to log uh, for the task to actually be executed on our console. So I'm just going to wait for three minutes. I'm going to pause the video. So it's been over two minutes and I'm waiting for the third console to like come through. And there it is. So it has printed to our console at least uh, three times because I've been waiting for three minutes. So we can see that our cron job is actually working as it should. Now remember what we want to happen is that we want our email actually our email function, our emails to be sent uh, at a particular time. So what I think we're going to do is that we want our emails to be sent each and every single month on the 28th, right? So this will be sort of like an invoice uh, to just like uh, sort of remind a person how much they owe. So in order to do that, we just maybe we're going to send it um, at what time? Maybe I'm going to put zero over here. Then I'm going to say 12. Yeah, I think this is reasonable. It's not midnight, it's midday. And this is going to send every single, what did I say? 28. Okay. So an email is going to be sent on the 28th of every month at 12 o'clock noon. I think that is good. And we can just like copy this and we can paste it in here. And then instead of saying task over here, we're going to call that function, that email function that we've had previously. Oh, sorry, actually the email function is called send email like that. So yeah. And so what's gonna happen is that every single uh, month on the 28th of every single month, an email is going to be sent out uh, using the cron schedule. 
Right, so I think uh, that is about it for today's tutorial. I hope you've learned something new because I know cron, uh, cron is not something that is really popular around so many different circles. I think it has so many different applications that you could use it, uh, that you can use in your code. So make sure that um, if you having problem understanding this, just like let me know in the comment section, and I'll probably make a second video that is only based on cron and does not have to do with emails and stuff. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And if you've learned something new today or if you've enjoyed the video, like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section telling me why you didn't enjoy the video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.